Hey, welcome back to another episode. This is episode two, if you're playing along at home. I still don't have a title for the video series. We're just going to call it Vlog for now. It's supposed to be out weekly. We've been out of the out of the state for a while, so I'm just now getting back and around to uh, the normal stuff, and I can start pumping out these videos weekly, hopefully more often than that. But enough rambling. Let's jump right into it. Let's start off with movie magic. So there is this movie called Swiss Army Man. It's an amazing flick and it's almost life-changing. I don't say that about a lot of movies. I think that's something that's rare and I think this movie came out in 2016, not 2017, but 2017 had a, had a rough year. I haven't seen anything in the theater that I really liked and I just hope 2018 brings us something better. But I digress. Swiss Army Man is an amazing movie. Um, Daniel Radcliffe is starring in it. This movie makes you walk out. It made me walk out of the theater questioning a lot of things about my life. And it actually took me a couple days to come to the conclusion that I liked the movie. I couldn't make up my mind. So do yourself a favor and watch it. I will warn you there are. There's fart jokes in the first 13 seconds of the movie. Don't let that deter you because this movie is deep and there's a lot of stuff that you can learn from this movie. Moving on to a new segment that we are going to have called the music segment. This is going to be where I touch on artists and bands and what have you that I'm listening to and maybe I want to not necessarily promote them because I'm a small fucking YouTuber, but just let you guys know what I'm listening to, what's on the playlist. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Uh, they are a really great little indie band. I'm not going to say too much more about them except for give them a listen. If you like chill chill music, the their whole energy, their tempo, everything about them is just chill and it's, it's a really cool band. All right, now with the movie stuff. Now with the wedding stuff, imagine like fucking just nothing but fireworks going off right here. And that's what I'm going to edit in. So you'll see it. It's going to be great. We picked a venue. Uh, we're so excited. Got a venue picked out. It's in Vegas. It's a beautiful little spot. We're only taking 10 people with us to the wedding, but it's still going to be awesome. Now let's get into the meat of this. Let's talk about uh, relationship advice. What everybody should be doing out there is taking out their little pins and papers and writing down these notes, okay? In Hollywood, there's this movie called The Purge, and the whole fucking spoiler alert, the whole concept is one day out of the year, all laws become null and void, and you can do whatever you want, and this keeps the balance. Everybody saw the Rick and Morty episode as well, so I don't need to explain it to you. But if purging happened for couples... It would help in so many ways because there's a lot of times that couples say that they're open with each other and they communicate all the time, which they don't. They keep little stuff in and it slowly creeps out and you fight little shitty fights here and there throughout the year and it just sucks. They're unneeded. But if you're blocked off one day, once a year, maybe once every six months, depending on your relationship, to just fight and just call people mean names and just be ugly and just let it all out, I think people would fight less. I think that it would be such a cleanse, if you will, that your relationship would be, kind of be born again on that same day. <laughs> now we're going to touch on a subject that was not in the first episode, so this is going to be news to everyone. Uh, we did a 1,200 mile one way, yeah, Holy shit, a 1,200 mile one way road trip to Florida. And we noticed a lot of things on on the road. We took this trip between, you know, episode one and episode two. So that's kind of the reason I haven't been uploading, but that's neither here nor there. There are these things happening on the roads today called dick measuring contest. Now, it's not what you think. I don't have to tag this NSFW, but... We've all seen it. 
we're going down the highway, we're trying to just cruise along with the flow of traffic, and these trucks just want to see whose dick is bigger than the other. So the slower one pisses off the slightly faster, but yet the still slow one, enough to make him get over into the left-hand lane to start passing. Sometimes this event can take several minutes and cause blockage for miles behind them, but on very rare occasions you can actually spot the three lane wide tractor trailer dick measuring contest. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention that it actually has a name. It's called DMC Dick Measuring Contest. The second thing I want to talk about about the highway are merging rules. There are some people out there that believe when you see green exit signs, it means you stay in the far left lane as long as possible until that little arrow starts pointing, Hey, exit here, man! And you swing across four lanes of traffic to get your exit. Hey, exit here, man. Hey, exit here, man. That's not how merging into exit lanes works. How merging into the exit lanes work is as soon as you see that green exit and half a mile sign, you need to be in the exit lane because let's say there's a traffic jam in the exit. That whole thing is going to get backed up and you're going to miss your turn and you're going to be the fucking cocksucker that goes up there and tries to get in at the last minute. And now I know a lot of you are already wanting to respond and say, but I can merge whenever I want. But you cannot. If it's a green exit sign, you cannot. Let me tell you when you can merge whenever you want. When you have yellow merging signs or something that tells you a lane is ending in a fuck you feet. You use all the road you can. Take your time and get in whenever you want. But when you see green exit signs and you pull shit like this, it, it gets under people's skin. That I would just, you know, give you a, a hug and a kiss and send you on your way. All right, I think that's going to do it for episode part two. Let's look forward to episode three when a lot of crazy stuff's going down. And hopefully that will be out tomorrow. Peace.